in my opinion. He shoots arrows faster than Falco shoots lasers. So we called it out. Falco versus Meta Knight. On Battlefield. BTDA versus Blue. You said Brawl Midnight, and that looked just like Brawl Midnight. Against against Falco, actually, in Brawl. Not wanting to get chain grabbed at the start. <laughs> 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 All right, gets a dash attack. Goes with the forward air, but not going to get much off of that. Also in the back, Naked Man versus Bombastic. And Joe Star Pride versus Alex. Also in the back. All right, both players really feeling each other out. DTS is trying to get some kind of conversion, but he's not able to get anything off of it. You know, I'm, I'm kind of surprised I'm not seeing Blue shoot a few lasers, because like, even though like, because she used to do them in Smash 4, and they're better. But there we go. I would say they're better in this game. I mean, if Meta Knight doesn't have to respect lasers. He he's, he kind of like plays in the air. That is true, but I just thought he was doing like DTD was doing dash attacks a lot on the ground. There you go. I got one 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 for good measure. <laughs> All right, just throwing off the, the rapid jab, but no pun. Oh, that's not something you want to do. You see somebody charging an F-Smash like that, you just want to kind of maybe get away from that. So, so one thing I've noticed about Blue before is she's always had a very passive play style, where she kind of like, she's willing to time somebody out if she has to. But she plays too passively. If She, she needs to go in there. She needs exactly. to actually say, hey, you know, if Meta's going to jump on top of me, I'm going to go up there and throw out an up air. Something like that. Good parry by DTDA. Yeah, it looks like she's playing super passive. Gets that grab, though. Oh, no up air after that. I actually think that might have killed her. She got that up air. She, uh, DTDA was pretty high up there. Yes. Oh, his the response dare. with that dare. And right now, Falco's just having a hard time killing. Yeah, now it's way too high to be able to get a follow up of that. <gasps> Is that down tilt? Yes, down oh tilt. Yes. Uh, when I play, I played blue a little bit, and one thing I, l I noticed is that down tilt, down tilt's rage got buffed, I think. Yeah, that looks pretty big. Ooh, but the side B on stage is going to get punished. I feel like that could have maybe worked in other Smash games, but I don't know. I think DTD also just timed that really well. It's it's much easier to time. Especially since, you know, the side Bs from Fox and Falco got nerfed. They take a bit longer to start up. All right. Blue off stage now. DTDA gonna get the back air and landing only one hit of back air gonna ends up pseudo spiking. Blue. Mm -hmm. So like the thing that she's doing that you kind of don't want to do is she's you know trying to shoot a laser off stage as she's trying to recover. Don't, just don't, just don't do that. <laughs> don't. Yeah, I mean like. Cause like if he staggers for like a second, like he's still there, there to edge guard you. And you still have to up be as Falco. I mean like it's not the best situation. Just get back on stage. Don't worry about doing that, what, 2% with the laser? Yeah, it's not it, It's not really worth it. Yeah. Especially in the position that you were in. Uh, maybe she had her second jump. Okay. Yeah. Why, why not? But that's going to be it for game one. Game two, we're still deciding. Uh, I, I would love to see, like, an FD pick from Blue. She, that would she, actually be very gonna, strong. She's going to go FD. Very <laughs> strong. Very strong. Yeah, FD, probably not the worst stage for any of these characters. Blue going straight back to Falco. DTDA going straight back to Midnight. She's pecking him. She's pecking with the little Falco plushie. All right. So taking it, taking it FD. I see. There you go. She had the double jump. She had the little laser. You know. There yeah. You go. Like if you know, <laughs> if you know your spacings with it, you you won't avoid. That'd be fifteen. Down. Yes. Falco, Falco's combos. I know like the combo counter has been like debunked. Like yeah, it doesn't really. It's not completely reminiscent of true combos. Yeah. Falco still has some nice confirms, and I think if Blue can get something started, that'll be super big. See, like sh the way Blue's playing now is what she needs to keep doing, because she's you know she's winning these exchanges. You look at the percents, you, you see who's winning right now. But when she goes into her very passive play style, I feel like she just gets afraid of moves and whatnot. 
I mean, definitely. One thing, if somebody's going to play in the air, then you got to be willing to challenge them when they're while they're up there. Exactly. And she's doing a great job this, sec this second game. Oh, very nice grab. Unfortunately, the up air wasn't able to hit him at all. If if you run into this F smash. The okay. world has been red. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Mix it a little cute little upwards air dodge. You know, honestly, I would have loved it if she went for like a back air there. That would have been like, like a double jump back air getting back on stage. Yeah, she almost got the kill right there. She tried to go for that down tilt. Just not quick enough. Oof, almost went into that F smash. Trying to mix it up with the landing fair. And right now, DTA is now setting up for that ledge trap. Okay, she's safe right now. Yeah. Ooh. DTA catching her with that down B. All right, it's a down tilt. Trying to get a back air, but it is way too high a percent to confirm into that. Nice, another down tilt. And she's throwing out the taunt too. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't hear that. All right, right now, right now, now that DTDA has the lead, he's not really committing to. He's not really committing to starting the engagement. He's just waiting for Blue to do or something. And I think Blue needs to be willing to take a little bit more risk. Maybe throw out a dash tag. Yeah. We, we do something a little bit risky. Yeah, so there you go. Catching the tornado right there. Not really sure why DTA decided to tornado on stage that high up, but I guess he learned his lesson now. Definitely. All right, catching the air dodge with the dash attack. Yeah, again, those sideways air dodges, you, you need to, like, they're very laggy, and, like, you're, if your opponent sees you getting it, they can just easily punish you with those. Catch her with the fair. She's going to be able to make it back, though. Okay, up throw to the up air. Very nice. I'm trying to get the back air, but DTA was too high up. Barely missed it. See, like, that's a habit I think she should not do in this game is those constant side Bs. They work very well for Fox and Falco in Smash 4. But in this game, I maybe, like, stray away from those. Yeah, solely for the fact that Shield just beats them. That too. Like, you're not going to cross anyone up. Down to and, but she is bringing this back. At, even more than I thought. <laughs> yes, the back here. And now stock up. Blue is somehow, somehow bringing this back. All right. Oh, text out of that grab. All right, going to punish the multi rapid jab, but down there is not the strongest punish she could have got. Yeah, I was going to say, don't. I love those little upwards air dodges, because they're like, ah. <laughs> All right, and the back air is going to even out the stocks. Right now, this could be Blue's game. This would be a big win. All right, gets a dash attack. Goes for the up air, up tilt, and keeps up this oh, pressure. Yeah. He's on her. He's on her right now. Ooh, very nice parry, but not really able to get anything out of it. Able to get away, at least. There may have been one of the accidental parries where, like, you didn't even really know you were going to get it. So no, no, she know. meant that. She meant that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Oh, Getting the up air string into an up B. It's not going to kill just yet, though. This is pretty close for the two different skill levels of these players. Or for what they're known for, at least. Mm -hmm. Oh, and that's going to be... Yeah. Ooh. I would have loved that he went for a parry there. That would have been an excellent punish. Don't. She ran again, running into the fully charged F smash. Just sometimes you want to get away from those. Just live to fight another day. You don't have to get a punish off of it. I mean, Meta Knight has three anti airs. Up tilt, up smash. 